everyone. It's Mari here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I have a collection that I'm going to be sharing with you here today from Studio Light. This is the Beauty of Fall collection. It is absolutely stunning and I will be linking up to this collection in the description box below. There will also be a coupon code there for you if you're interested in any of these products. The links in the description box are affiliate links, so if you click those links and shop, I will get a small commission at no extra cost to you, so that's something to consider. When I link to the products in the description box, I'm gonna to link to the whole collection. It'll take you to the whole collection, and then you'll see a la carte, so to speak, everything that is in the Ecstasy Craft Shop for this collection. So this first paper here is a scrapbooking paper. This is Scrap 51 from the Beautiful Fall Collection. It is stunning, such a beautiful fall scene with this lovely floral border. Love this little bird, this beautiful lake with the fall colors, so pretty. So that's the A side. The B side is just this beautiful watercolor-y piece here with the watercolor leaves in each corner. Just so stunning. So that's paper 51. This is paper 52 from the collection. Also super sweet. We've got this really adorable twig wreath with this sweet little uh, squirrel and some um, floral, not florals, but foliage and, and plants that have kind of got that fall, the fall colors. Little pine cone here as well. And the background is just this beautiful watercolor leaf pattern. Really stunning. So that's the A side of paper 52. And this B side of paper 52 is the one of the papers that I used for a layout that I created this weekend using this collection. I'll go through this collection, this um, layout with you a little bit here in a minute. So just love this paper. Absolutely stunning with these watercolor leaves here. That's paper 52. Paper 53 is another really pretty fall scene. This time we've got some pumpkins, some squash, some berries, apples, leaves, etc. Really pretty, just a really lovely neutral section in the middle. Really great for creating a scrapbook layout. That's a side of paper 53. I love those florals too, they're so stunning. The back side is also beautiful. I did use this paper as well for the layout that I'm going to be sharing today. Beautiful colors, love it. And this is paper 54. I love the mushrooms. I think they're super cute. This is really beautiful too. Just lots of really pretty watercolor art as part of these papers in this collection. And the back is a uh, an oak leaf acorn print, really gorgeous. Okay, so that was paper 54. Paper 55 is a four by three cut apart paper. Beautiful, if you're a pocket scrapbooker or you like to use these pieces for embellishments, maybe perhaps you like to fussy cut these, maybe you like to make your own kits for classes, whatever it is that you like to do. A cut apart sheet is just a great value for a paper. And on the back, we just got this beautiful leaf pattern on a neutral. Gorgeous. They always include, Studio Light always includes in their um, scrapbooking collections a fussy cut paper. This is paper 56 for this collection. It is so awesome. I love the fussy cut papers. I think they're probably my favorite because for one sheet of paper, you get all of these embellishments and... You can just sit, watch a movie, fussy cut these out and have a whole little container of elements that you can use for embellishing your product projects, whatever they might be. So this is scrap paper 56, beautiful leaf watercolor um, background on the back. Gorgeous. So those are the 12 by 12 papers. So what I'm going to do is just quickly show you the layout that I uh, made with the papers. Here you can just see that the one that had the leaves on it and then this paper, these are two different papers and just did some paper tearing, some mixed media and use some of the elements to create these clusters. So gorgeous and I did create this on Patreon so if you're interested in seeing this full process video, you can check that out on my Patreon. It is always linked up in the description of my videos. 
This collection also includes three six by six pads. There's two paper pads and an elements pad. This one here is paper pad 12 and it includes all of these papers that you can see here. There's three, um, three unique colors, three embellished and three patterns. Okay, so there's three different types of, and then you can see that here. So there's three rows here, 36 sheets in total. So just beautiful patterns. Love that. Gorgeous. You can use these for layering. There's the solids. So you can see the three solid colors that you get there. And then it just repeats. So you get lots of repeats, 36 sheets. Gorgeous, beautiful. Same thing with this one. This has different colors, the solids and the patterns. Just so pretty. And you'll see how the coordinating stamps and dies just go so nicely with this as well. These are single sided, but you do get 36 sheets. The solids, beautiful fall colors, I love that. Greeny teal, and then it repeats. This is the Elements book. Oh, and by the way, that was paper pad 13. So it's paper pad 12 and 13 from Beautiful Beauty of Fall. There are more than 300 paper elements in these pages, and these are all perforated so that you can just pop them out like these pieces here. So I use these for embellishing my layout that I showed you there. And these are all coordinating with the, and you get two sheets of each. These all coordinate with the different papers, stamps and dies from the collection. So just beautiful. I love those mushrooms. I love the birds, cute little hedgehog. So many beautiful images in here. I love, I just love these little, the mushrooms, the red top mushrooms with the white dots, really pretty. Then we have the stamps and coordinating dies as well. This one is has got these beautiful little foxes in it. Hello Autumn, welcome back with all your beauty. This is stamp 61, beautiful stamp. This is stamp 62, fall has my favorite colors. These are really great for art journaling, for creating cards. A uh, beautiful border piece here. You can see some leaves, some pine cones. There's a little cluster of mushrooms there. Here on the back, you can just see all of the images colored. Super pretty. This one is stamp 63, beautiful sunflower and a leaf. Happiness is throwing lots of fall leaves high in the air. Gorgeous. Um, this one is stamp 64. Got some beautiful berries. You are loved. Thank you, you're the best and some other little um, pieces here. A berry with the foliage and a branch, gorgeous. Um, so that's it for the stamps. Now we have some dies. This is die 55. You can see here that I've already used <laughs> this maple leaf, but here you can see what this cuts out, this sweet little branch with the leaves falling down from it to create this little leaf banner the word wonderful with a backing. So it's got the scripty word wonderful and then it allows you to cut the, the backing of it as well. So pretty. And then the printed word fall also to go onto the, the leaves if you want. I did die cut a couple of pieces from that set just so that you can see how pretty they are when they die cut. This is um, some mixed media paper and some watercolor that I used on there. I actually used some Lindy Stamp Gang on that and on this as well. But you can just see how pretty those are. So the dies do cut out very nicely. This, um, So this one again, that was die CD55. This is CD56. You can see that it cuts this really pretty little fence, a pumpkin, some leaves, a leaf pile, a spade and a rake, and this really cute little wheelbarrow you can create just a really sweet little scene on your card or whatever you're working on. This is CD57. So in this set, just looking to see what I took out of this one. A couple of pieces. So these pieces here, these dies, gorgeous. Got some a foliage there, different types of tree leaves and branches. We've got more, we've got a little acorn with oak leaf. And here you can just see how those cut. That's CD57. So really pretty 
and I do have this branch here cut from that leaf. So you can see that it cuts the veins of the leaves. Lots of detail, kind of like this really fun detail on the branch as well. So this one was also watercolored with some mixed media paper. And this is the last die in the in this collection, CD58. There, there's more, probably more to this collection, I'm sure, on Ecstasy Crafts. I don't have all of it. So just check out um, what they have in the shop. CD58, and you can just see how pretty this is and all the different parts that you can make. This really pretty little wreath and the sunflowers, the mushrooms. You can layer the mushroom tops. And there's also a, a leaf die that's part of that as well. Here's some little leaves that I cut with that. This one's pink, but you can just see the beautiful detail that you can get with those dies. I have a couple of the stencils from the collection as well. This is Mask 34 and Mask 35. I love this one for creating a little spooky scene or a sweet little fall scene. Really cute. Love that one. And this one is just so good. This, like I said, mask 35, and you can just create all of these falling leaves on a project. So friends, that is the Beauty of Fall collection from Studio Light. It is available now at Ecstasy Crafts. I will leave links as mentioned in the description box below. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have an amazing day, friends, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.